2014 question with reference to the balance of payment which of the following constitutes or constitute the current account the question is about the current account one balance of trade two foreign assets three balance of invisibles four special drawing rights select the correct answer using the code given below so take 30 seconds and then give the answer your time starts now So I gave you 30 seconds and out of this 30 seconds some time was already expired so I reduced it to 20 seconds. Yeah. So with the reference to the balance of payments which of the following constitutes or constitute the current account? Statement 1 balance of trade. Yes, this is part of the current account So this is the balance of trade is equal to the value of export minus the value of imports 2 foreign assets This is not part of the current account This is part of the reserve. I hope you remember foreign currency asset balance of invisibles This is part of the current account only Special drawing rights. This is not part, not part of the current account. This is part of the reserves. So Statement 1 and 3 that means option C. This is correct. So answer is option C Next question So please take uh, one minute read and solve this question So let us start which of the following constitute capital account so the question is about capital account one foreign loans this is part of the capital account example external commercial borrowings trade credit short term credit etc two FDI this is part of the capital account private remittances this is part of the current account right portfolio investment this is part of the capital account so 1 2 and 4 option B 1 2 and 4 this is the answer option B 1 2 and 4 next question please read this question this is very simple question again I will give you one minute to solve this question so please be careful about the language the language is not direct language that is why this question might look little bit tricky but still I know you can solve this question
फ्रेंड्स आई एम गिविंग यू लिटिल बिट एक्स्ट्रा टाइम बिकॉज आई नो यू आर सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आइडियली इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल यू शुड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन विद इन थर्टी सेकेंड फॉर सम डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन यू कैन टेक सम एक्स्ट्रा टाइम या सो लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन The balance of payment of a country is a systematic record of. So the question is about the definition of balance of payment. A. All imports and export transactions of a country during a given period, normally a year. All import and export transactions. So this is a very uh, limited definition. B. Goods exported from a country during a year. This is completely wrong. C economic transaction between the government of one country to another okay option d capital movement from one country to another this is also completely wrong so now we are left with option a and option c which one is appro more appropriate c none of them gives the complete definition because in the second definition it is talking about between the government however it includes all the economic transactions in the statement 1 in the option 1 it is talking about ex import and export only normally the meaning of import and export transaction is basically uh the ex the the, the uh, export and import of goods but in this context if we see the two definition this one definition the first definition here the export and import transactions here if we see in the broad terms this import and export can include goods services capital etc everything right and this is of a country and during a given period normally a year so this statement 1 or option 1 looks more comprehensive compared to the option c so i would go with the option a i would go with the option a so answer in this case i will give is option a next question is please again take now i will give you 40 seconds so take 40 seconds starting now so in terms of economy the visit by foreign nationals to witness the commonwealth games in india right so india hosted the commonwealth games in 2010 in that context this question appeared in 2011 so the visit of foreign nationals to witness the commonwealth games in india it amounted to a export b import import is impossible production is impossible so we have a choice between export and consumption right so definitely if foreign nationals we are supplying the services the goods to the uh, foreign nationals so they are visiting that means this is a tourist service tourist service so we are providing them different services transportation hospitality etc so those services are basically part of the export those services are basically part of the export right so in terms of economy the visit by foreign nationals to witness the commonwealth games in india amounts to export the answer is option a exports next question this question again is little bit uh, you know not that much easy but i know you can solve this question i am giving you one minute to solve this question
so in this question just choose whether only assertion is appropriate correct or reason is also correct or whether assertion is wrong or it is correct reason is wrong or it is or is it correct so just identify the correct and incorrect out of both Okay, so assertion balance of payment represents a better picture of country's economic transactions with the rest of the world than the balance of trade. So balance of payment is much more comprehensive than balance of trade. Balance of trade represents the difference between export and import. Balance of payment represents the difference between the current account and the capital account. So balance of payment is much more comprehensive. So assertion is appropriate. This is correct. Reason. The balance of payment takes into account the exchange of both invisible and invisible item. Yes, it takes both visible and invisible item. Whereas balance of trade does not, right? So balance of trade represents only visible item. So this is this reason is also appropriate, right? So both assertion and reason both are correct. Both are correct. Next question. So again, I will give you uh, one minute. This question is not direct question, but if you utilize your common sense, you can solve this question. I know. Okay, <clears throat> so which of the following has or have occurred in India after its liberalization of economic policies in 1991, right? Statement 1, share of agriculture in GDP increased enormously. This is wrong. In India, the share of agriculture in GDP has been decreasing because the share of industry and share of service sector has been increasing i know i have not discussed this concept in the session so far but if you read newspaper regularly you can identify this statement that this statement is completely wrong and i will discuss this statement in the economic survey as well as in the agriculture sector statement 2 share of india's exports in the world trade increased this is correct fdi inflows increased this is correct India's foreign exchange reserve increased enormously. Yes. So statement 2, 3 and 4. That means option B is correct. So this answer you can give if you have covered the economic survey lecture which I have given. Option B, 2, 3 and 4. This is very very simple question. Recently which one of the following currencies have been proposed to be added to the basket of IMF's SDR? So this question appeared in 2016 because at that time Chinese RMB was introduced as the fifth item in the SDR. The problem of international liquidity is related to the known availability of. So option A goods and services, option B gold and silver, option C dollars and other hard currencies, option D exportable surplus so what is the right answer 
द राइट आंसर इज डॉलर एंड अदर हार्ड करेंसीज आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल लिक्विडिटी प्रॉब्लम विच आर ओज बिकॉज ऑफ द डॉलर एंड द गोल्ड बींग शॉर्ट वी इंट्रोड्यूस एस डी आर राइट सो दिस डॉलर एंड अदर हार्ड करेंसीज दे आर पार्ट ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल लिक्विडिटी प्रॉब्लम Which one of the following groups of items is included in the India's foreign exchange reserves? So take one minute and solve this question. Sorry. Oh ho! I'm really sorry. for the disturbance so your one minute starts now Okay, so I am straight forward giving the answer. Answer is option uh, B. Foreign currency assets, gold holdings of RBI and SDR. This is the answer. I have already discussed, so I am not going to repeat again. Answer is foreign currency assets, gold holdings of the RBI and the SDR. Next question. This question is little bit uh, not from this session directly, but still I am discussing. You can take it as an additional information. This question appeared in two thousand nineteen prelims. Among the agricultural commodities imported by India, which one of the following account for the highest import in terms of value? So highest imported item in terms of value in the last five years. A spices B fresh fruits C pulses and D vegetable oil the answer is D vegetable oil this question has been asked because last year genetically modified mustard was in news and in the background of this news lot of time in the newspaper this news came that vegetable oil is one of the largest imported item in the india and because of that this question was asked so friends any question which is asked in the examination they have some logic the logic to this question was the news about the gm mustard among the following which one of the following is the largest exporter of rice largest exporter of rice in the world in the last 5 years here the answer is india option b right again this is a question you can answer from the regular current affairs news so answer is option b so with this i complete this session of previous year question we are going to discuss more concept in the uh, external sector only for example uh, exchange rate determination exchange rate regime uh, wto and many other concept with that you uh, know once i we do those concept after that we will have an, another session of previous year question and uh, we will discuss uh, uh, more practice questions also with this i complete this session thank you very much god bless you